Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Kronos Plays Suikoden 2. Now this is part of the walkthrough series that I've been doing. Uh, we recently just finished Suikoden 1, a few months back at this point I feel like. Uh, so now it's time for Suikoden 2. Uh, compared to Suikoden 1, Suikoden 2 is about double in length, right? Uh, they definitely, uh, definitely increased the size of the game when it went from Suikoden 1 to Suikoden 2. It's actually kind of a trend with them, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, this game also had more of a budget when it comes to, uh, like, art quality, because you'll definitely see a noticeable difference in animations, character battle models, and just overall, like, uh, just quality of the, the graphics. Also, a new art style when it comes to the actual, like, uh, portraits of the characters. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get started. So we'll get prompted with the name here. So the default canonical name is, uh, I'll probably be switching pronunciations from Ryu and Ryo. It, I Googled it. I even put it to like a Texas speech. Uh, and I think it's, it usually switch, uh, switches between Ryo, Ryu and Ryo. So I will probably be doing that for a while. Let's go ahead and say yes. You'll be prompted to load your save data from Suikoden 1. Um, it has to be on the same memory card, I believe, so make sure you do that. I also, at the last episode of Suikoden, um, I did tell you where you needed to save, and I also mentioned that I was going to be going back and setting up some characters that would appear. I'm not going to go over those characters now, because that would be a spoiler for this series, but I do go over it a little bit there. Um, it was mostly just armor. Oh, no, you can select your memory card. Good, good, good. I will select ours then, and I believe this is the one where I set up the characters. now. Interesting, interesting little uh, glitch that happens with this game is anytime like tear is referenced in uh, this game, be it like a character talks about the past or an old book about the war. Uh, by default, his they use his last name, like they just call him McDole. Uh, but if you transfer data, they Sort of try to bring your first name or your name into it, but they only they only programmed it to take capital letters. So when I transfer this data, his name will become Tickdol, T C Dole. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, if you name Tear all capital letters, it would have been Tear Ol, because O H L would have appeared there at the end. Weird. I'm not sure if they ever fixed that for like the PSP port or not. I'm assuming they did because that would be weird if they didn't. But yeah, let's go ahead and like this transfer this. So it took about 18 hours for the, the Let's Play series the end. Um, this is about double in length. So I will expect probably 36 to 40 hours in time here. Now, of course, not all of that is going to be me playing. That could just be me putting the controller down to get a drink somewhere along the way and forgetting to stop the recording or shutting off the emulation. I am doing an emulator for this one. We went over that in the uh, first one. Uh, the first three games that I'm doing in series, I'm using an emulator because when we go from two to three, we still get to use transfer data. But if you're using like a PS3, like I would normally be doing for this series, you can't transfer data over like that because you can't use a PS1 uh, memory card for ps2 games kind of crap i don't like it but at the same time it is what it is i'm just hoping it actually works when i get there uh this is joey um might be pronounced no i think it's joey right yeah it might be pro uh joey but i don't think so it's misspelled joey a few times throughout the game um so ryu you changed already you're sure in a hurry <laughs> Me too. I thought about going back to K uh, Ka Karo? Karo? Sure. And I couldn't wait to get out of that uniform. There's going to be a lot of mispronunciations. It's it's part of the gimmick, and it's not actually a learning disability at all. It's definitely a gimmick. Hey, Ryu, Nami's probably waiting for you back uh, to get back, right? You're her only family since Master Gengaku, uh, Gengaku died, in, if not for this war. So, anyway, uh, should we get go to sleep, or do you want to get some fresh air? Looks like a nice night. 
Uh, it doesn't really matter what we do right now, but let's go outside and talk to some people. Uh, we are in... Hmm, okay. We'll go over that in a second. Uh, we are in something called the Youth Brigade. It is a teenager's military group, right? Um, I believe everyone here is like 15 to 16 or 17 years old. Um, I think Rio is supposed to be 15 or 16, and I think Joey's 16. Um, so, level ups. Stats are, like in all Suikoden games, uh, randomized when you gain a level. Now, they're not completely randomized. There is certain stats some characters are better at, so they get a higher roll than others, usually speaking. Um, but everyone starts at a level 1, and then their stats will increase, and when they get a level up, it will either... It will roll between a low and a high, and it will pick somewhere in between. At this levels, the lows, I believe, are two, and the highs are four. Generally speaking, we'll be getting threes in our good stats, and twos in our not-so-good stats. Joey and Ryu are actually pretty good across the board, right? They have good at strength, they have good magic, good tech, good speed. Um, Joey's better at magic, generally speaking, than he is at strength. Rio is better at strength than he is at magic, but they're both very valuable for both of them. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and check out our stats uh, after I change the tech speed to fast. All righty. All right, so... Got a pretty average roll for Ryu. Joey, honestly speaking, I'm kind of used to him having, like, I think like 18 or 19 magic at this point, but that's fine. It's 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 not that bad. Um, his protection's actually a little low on Ryu, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter for the most part, right? You're never going to get completely low rows, rolls, and you're never going to get completely high row, rows, rolls, not rows. Um, so you're going to always have some sort of average in between. Now, is it statistically possible to get all low ro rolls and all high rolls? Yes. Is it likely to happen? No! So don't worry too much about it. Uh, youth Brigade Soldier is sleeping. Hello. Ah, so... <laughs> as you can see, there's some tension between the city-state and the Highland Kingdom here. Uh, this guy here doesn't believe in the ceasefire agreement that they just had. But the dude that was pretending to be asleep is just happy that there is a peace treaty, because war is terrible. And it is. And also very... I guess timely, uh... Timely game to play. Um, but yeah, so nothing here really is, you know, not really, you don't need to do anything here, but it's fun to get some dialogue when it comes to the characters here. Uh, some people are super happy to go. Some people want to continue fighting. Um, I mean, this guy's just an asshole because Ryu doesn't actually have a mum, so... Oh, we might have been talking about that guy in the back, too, but, yeah, they're, they're just, it's butting heads on opinion, right? Some people are just glad the, the, there's a ceasefire, other people are like, no, we need to fight. Uh, there's very, very high tension between City State and Highland, so, like, uh, there's a lot of bad blood, and bo going both ways. We'll learn more about that as we go, but as you can see, like, oh yeah, we have a default run button, we don't need uh, the Holy Rune anymore. And you can just see right here, this is a good example of, like, the increase in their budget when it comes to, like, art quality, right? In the first game, when we ran, it was just this, but sped up. Except for on the loading screen, for whatever reason. We didn't have characters doing this sort of stuff, like sharpening their sword or cleaning their sword. Even movement just sitting like that. Or this. We barely had any characters that, like, did this. There was a couple of scenes that had characters with animations that were unique. But, yeah, in this game, they just they just upped it all. We're going to get yelled at now because we just went into the captain's tent. Well, we're supposed to be in uniform. Yeah, where are you uniforms? Uh, so sorry. Well, uh, I'll forget it this time. Uh, go back to your tent and get some sleep. Uh, sir, yes, sir. Bye-bye. Actually, can I go back in there and bug you? I told you to go get some sleep. Now get out of here. I'm busy looking at this candle. It's uh, pretty great. You'll understand when you're older. 
All right, so we don't need to come here. Again, everything we're doing right now is completely optional. Uh, we could have just went to sleep, but I want to talk to some people. And this guy thinks he's going to uh, flirt with our sister, but that's probably just not even possible. Because uh, I don't think Nanami would give him the time of day. But anyways... Huh. That guy looks kind of shady. Kind of looks like he's wearing our armor. A little different, though. Huh. All right, now let's uh, go back to our tent and sleep because there's nothing else for us to do. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, it's, it's kind of nice that you have optional things like this. You don't need to do this. You could have just went to sleep and the story would have progressed. Yeah, hey, let's go to sleep. Uh, sure, I'm going to sleep. You're right. I want to go back to Cairo at first light tomorrow. Good night, Ryu. Look like nice beds for the army, really. To be fair, this is the Youth Brigade, and we're actually not on the front line. We're actually in a camp somewhere. But hey, surprise attack! Surprise attack? But what about the peace treaty with the city-state? Did you hear you? We better check it out. All right. One thing they do that I kind of don't like is anytime someone leaves or join the party, they give you that screen. And even if they just left, like, for a second. Rhea! Joy! Captain Rad, what is it? It's a surprise attack by the city-state! They've broken the peace treaty agreement! Those scum! It looks like we're surrounded. Take the mountain path to the east and save yourselves! Hurry! Let's run, Ryu. We can't die here. Nanami will be all alone. All right, let's not go that way. Let's come. Can we go in here? Oh, hey, it's on fire, too. Go in here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, that was the guy that was all gung-ho about fighting the enemy. But, uh, he just stayed asleep, huh? So, yeah, this scene is really impactful, right? Because these are just kids, and they're dying. It's, it's one of those things you don't see too much of this, even in today's games and standards. It's, uh, these are... You know, what, 14 to 17 year olds, 15 to 17 year olds, being butchered. Wait a minute, Ryu. Uh, what is it? Don't you think it's strange? The only way out, of, out is through these tr woods. The enemy must know that too. The enemy might be waiting in the woods to ambush us. Let's go back. We gotta ca uh, tell this to Captain Raud. Alright. Um, and. You might be putting two and two together with what we saw earlier. Um, when we were coming this way, right? Because we did see a suspicious person there. And these are all of our comrades, our friends, that are slowly dying. Left for dead. It's just as we planned, Prince Luca. Everyone fled east through the woods. The ambush worked perfectly. <laughs> All poor victims of the state's betrayal, huh? Oh, I wish I had joined the ambush. All I've had to fight lately is that old man. I'm getting rusty. Y yeah, yeah, I mean, no, no. Uh, Prince Luca's swordsmanship is truly unmatched. My men would look like fools. Yes, well, the young men serve their country well enough. And now we can. Now we don't need a peace treaty with those state weaklings. I'll prove that there's no match for the power of Highland! Uh, I agree, sir. With Prince Luca in command, Highland can certainly earn the, gl the glory it deserves! What? What the hell? Uh. You know what? Let's go talk to the captain. You're right. I mean, I would run, to be quite honest. What? Why didn't you punks run east through the woods, like I told you? Captain, what the hell? 
Tell us what's going on. Why did you tell us to? And who is that man? <laughs> what? You don't recognize the face of your country's royal prince? Hurry and grab them! And we get our first battle. But luckily, Ryu and Joey are pretty overpowered when matched together because they have the buddy attack, which is their combined damage uh, just to all enemies. I know, right? It's pretty good. Now, Captain Boy in the back's gonna live. So, we'll just have to take him next time. Ooh, 16 damage, Joey. That's rude. We might get medicine from this as well. Because they do tend to drop medicine. Let's run, Ryu. But if we go east, we'll be killed. Maybe we go north off the cliff, we'll be able to escape. So that's automatic. I, I'm not controlling that right now. All right, so we get flaming arrows, which will be good for later. You already have flaming arrows equipped. Great. Flaming arrows is a combat item. You use it, you use the first level spell of the fire rune. It's pretty dope. Huh. Are you okay? You're not hurt. Huh, but why would the captain... You'll never learn the answer to that. You'll die here, victim of the state surprise attack. Your future ends here. C Captain, it's too bad. You two were promising soldiers. Now get them. We were promising soldiers because, as, as you can see, your trained soldiers that are adults are no match for us. And they, it's it's four against two. Unless you want to count the other four we already killed. Oh, I dodged. No damage for me, doggy. Goodbye. All right, so three A. Hey, Joey got a bunch of fours, actually. Holy crap. <laughs> so yeah, Ryu got like all the averages for his level, uh, and Joey got a bunch of high rolls. Good for him, right? Now, if you want. Damn you, you persistent little, persistent little punks! Stay here, I'll be right back! We can't keep this up forever. Ryu, there's no other way, we'll have to jump for it. Alright, so... You can disagree with Joey here. Uh, you have to do it three times, then Rod will show back up with more people to fight. It's good to get early levels and some medicines if you really, really want to. I'm not gonna do that. Now, there is something you can do here to change a cutscene later on. I think it's actually right after this, or no, it's a little later. One or the other. There's, if you do 108 battles here, uh, a black and white cutscene later on becomes colored. Um, I don't think that's a good reward for the amount of time you need to do uh, 108 battles because it's not like we only have to disagree once we have to disagree three times per battle and the options swap at the end so if you're just clicking like you know the x button or a button whatever button it is to advance the dialogue when you get to the third one the uh i agree one is at the top one and then you'll just agree so you could really mess it up <laughs> easily i don't really want to do that so i guess there's no other way Okay. If we make it, but somehow get separated, let's return to the spot. That way we'll be reunited. Promise me, Ryu. Uh, you could actually say no to this, and Joey will just mark it himself. So I'll promise anyways, because why not? Let's go. I think they're holding hands there when they jump to try to stay connected. Because they are jumping from a mountain into a raging river. And I guess... Oh, yeah, so this would be in color. Um, Yeah, it's like... You get it, right? Uh, that little girl there is the Nami. Um, they either fight to the death or potentially live or die jumping into the water, right? <laughs> the animation and the character models are just so much it's such a big improvement for the first game and the first game I think still looks really good to this day 
it's aged a little bit, but you can definitely see that they had actual proper budget when they got this game. Music's still really good as well throughout the game as well. Um, I mean, I don't know if I've just heard it so many times. Is this one of those things like, yeah, it's it's there, it sounds good. Uh, but no, I, I think in general, it's just really good music as well. But you know, I've had to burn into my brain that I can't really say if it's outstanding or if it's just nostalgia. <laughs> it's kind of like Final Fantasy IV, I guess at this point is like, yeah, it's a great game. Would you like it? I don't know, I love it. But I've played it so many times. I'm assuming you'll like it, but honestly, I could just be Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> I just... <laughs> the Nami's the, it's the big sister that has to show her affections like that. That's actually kind of hilarious. I forgot she actually stood there and waved. I'm the only one waving. Yeah, so it actually was alluded to before that Nanami's the only family we have left right now. Our, our adopted father, uh, Genkaku, was uh, unfortunately passed away by the time this game started. That's why we only see him in, like, one cutscene there. Uh, we'll learn more, more about him later. <laughs> this punk is a waste of time. I wonder where he came from. Hey, you, wake up already. I'll throw you in the rivy if, again. Looks very familiar, right? So, you're finally awake. Uh, hey, can you say your name? Uh, I'm Ryo. Ryu? It depends on who you ask. So you can talk, huh? What the hell are you doing in the river? Did you slip? Uh, well, we were... Neither of these, but I guess we're trying to... Honestly, I don't know why these are the options. Maybe because we might still not be completely sure what happened, but honestly, it is obviously obvious what happened, right? Luca slaughtered our our brigade. He killed all of our, you know, our soldiers in arms, our, our friends, and is trying to blame it on the state army. So, I don't know. Uh, we were ambushed by the state army, State Army? What are you talking about? We just signed a peace agreement. Can't believe it, huh? Are you a Highlander? Uh, Highland Royal Army Unicorn Brigade. Oh, I see. So you and I are enemies. I'm Victor, leader of the Mercenary Army and friend of the city-state of Justin. Victor, are you having fun picking on that poor kid? <laughs> what are you? What are you talking about, Flick? I wouldn't do that. I'm a nice guy. But anyways, what happened to the other one? It's no good. We lost sight of him. I hope we made it. Uh, too bad. Okay, listen up. Whoever you are, you're gonna be my personal guest for a while. You may not find the accommodations too comfortable, but... Look, don't, don't look so worried. We're not gonna eat you or anything like that. Okay, let's go back to the fort. So, you might be going like, oh shit. Wasn't there a cliffhanger with those two at the beginning, uh, at the end of uh, Sweet in One, Chronos? Like, yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, I remember this is one of the first times that I was actually spoiled on something in a game that uh, completely pissed me off because I, I think it was Game Pro or Game Informer, one of them at the time, they had an article on Sweet in Two, and who do they just have in the screenshots they used for the the announcement of the game? Oh, two people that might have died at the end of Suikoden uh, 1 that they left on a cliffhanger. But no, they're alive and fine. So I was a little pissed about that, but they're actually introduced not even like 20 minutes into the game, so I guess it's not that big of a spoiler, but it still kind of pissed me off. Uh, this will be your room for a while. It's small and not too comfortable, but you'll have to live with it since you're a prisoner. <laughs> I mean personal guest, one or the other. It gets pretty cold at night, so try to bundle up. There's two dirty sheets right over there.
Now, because this game is double the length of Suikoden 1, I am going to be uh, trying for, like, the 35-minute mark episodes. Um, there'll be a lot more, like, battles cut from this uh, Let's Play compared to Suikoden 1. While a lot of them are kind of about the same length in terms of, like, random battles, uh, well, actually, no, they're not. The length of battles is actually longer due to the animations and stuff that they've added to the characters. So that's why I'm going to be cutting them. They're, they're not super long battles for the most part, but they do add up over time. <sighs> Good morning. So you're the, the one they brought in last night, huh? Oh, you're, you're a kid. I'm Paul. Uh, I'm going to watch out for you. After breakfast, you're going to do some work for, me, for us. After all, no work, no eat. Okay. Um, what was your name? Oh, yeah, Ryu. Uh, anyway, look at this place. People around here are so lazy. The boss is no exception, either. Victor is a bad influence on people. Anyways, I want you to push all the boxes against the far wall. Like this. Hernia! Huh. Whew. Come on, push all of them tight up against the wall. Now clean up the rope that's uh, laying there. Uh, they'll be outside. Call me when you're done. All right, so just run up to him, and you'll eventually push. I actually kind of got stuck here the first time, because um, I think, if I remember correctly, I only pushed this one against the boxes below, and I didn't push it up against the wall. So every time I was leaving, it was like, hey, uh, you're not done yet. Like, get in there and do what you were told to do, dummy. Thank you for the rope. Yeah, you did a good job. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well said. Anyways, it's time for supper. This was my day. Boxes. I'm sorry, this is all we got. Rations been tight lately. Actually, that looks like a decent meal. Two big loaves of bread and some stew or soup. That's not bad. Good morning, Ryu. You look well. Okay, I've got an important errand for you today. Listen up, and remember, uh, go to the stockroom and get two pairs of boots. Then get three flints at the blacksmith, and two bags of flour at the item store. I'll be waiting here. Thanks! Alright, so the blacksmith's up here. Hello. Uh, I would like three, please. So, general rule of thumb, if you want the correct answer, it's not the one with the dots. Three, please. Down here. Get Barbara. And we're gonna ask her for some boots. Uh, but here's the exception to the rule. I want three pairs of boots. Thank you. Why three there, though, Cronus? Because Paul only wants two. So I'm gonna get some extra boots. <laughs> Do you want something, kid? <laughs> Come back in a few years and I'll be happy to teach you some things. Hi, I'm 15. Stop flirting with me. Or flirt with me, I guess. But in his mind, he's probably fine. What did you say? But flower? Sorry, we're all out of flower. You'll have to go to Ryubi uh, Village. Right, so let's go back to pole. Be like, yo, dog, what's up? Okay, hand it over. Two pairs of boots, two flints, and uh, uh, what about the flower? I see, we're out of flower, huh? Listen, uh, will you go to Ryubi Village for me? Don't worry, it's not far. Oh, but you can't go alone by yourself, right? Due to the fact that you're a prisoner. Someone will have to take you. Go and talk to Le Le uh, Leona. And I'll go unlock the door. Alright, so Lena is... Her. Hello. What? Jen didn't like fire. Fire, warm. Jen didn't always like, like warm. Alright, good for you, man. Hey, kid. What do you want? Someone to go with you on Aaron to Ruby, huh? Oh, okay. Gen Gen. Or Jen Jen. What on the other? What do you lean on or what? You want Jen Jen or food ready? Jen Jen, sorry to ask you the babysit, but could you take this kid to Ryubi with you? Jen Jen, soldier. Jen Jen, not babysitter. Don't be like that. A fine cobalt warrior like you should honor a lady's request. Jen Jen also wrapped around your goddamn finger, I guess. Uh, let's go, boy. Follow Jen Jen. Ah, Jen Jen. 
Jen Yen take this kid to Ryubi? Oh boy, really? Take me with you! Tuta, are you finished doing Dr. Huan's chores? Yeah, I deliver the medicine. <laughs> I've never been to Ruby, and Dr. Wan won't mind if I'm a little bit late. Err, uh, Jen Yen has babysit two children? Jen Jen also child. Please, kind Cobalt Warrior. Okay, eh, you leave it to me, because I'm whipped. Alright, so we had Jen Jen, who's level 6, substantially stronger than us, and Tuta, who's actually the same level as us, but uh, Tuta has a very low HP. Also very low attack and very low... Uh, Tuta actually sucks. He's not that very, very good a character right now. I mean, he has almost the same attack as me, but it's because his weapon's level 2. Jerk. But yeah, we can't actually take any of their equipment either because they're technically guest characters right now. But... I do like me some medicines. So yeah, we got an extra pair of boots. Now, if you really wanted to put those on. It just saves us a couple hundred dollars. That's about it. Hi. Okay, I mean, we were just talking, but sure. So you going with Jen Jen and Tuta? If Jen is with you, you'll be fine. Okay, Ryu. Ryubi is northeast of here. You'll find it if you follow the road. Get some flour at the item store there, and you, you won't need to pay for it. Oh, sweet. Free, free items? I like me some free items. Hey, Ryo, Tuta, listen! It's a big world with lots of monsters out there. Be careful! Chen Yen is not the forest or a mountain road. There won't be that many monsters, right, Ryu? Soldier must not be overconfident! Chen Yen is leader of this group, so now you call me Captain Chen Yen! Or Mr. Chen Yen! Or Super Kami Chen Yen! Uh, yeah, Captain Chen Yen. Okay, everyone! Here we go! Stay with the captain! God damn it. Uh, Alright, so this is the world map. We can actually get into some combat right now. Let's actually go ahead and do that, because why not? Uh, get to see these guys in action. Let's go ahead and auto. So, Tuda has um, a rune called Medicine on it. I think occasionally he spawns a medicine? I actually don't know what that rune does. It is pretty useless, though. Well, it might have just spawn some medicine, though. I don't really know. Let's see. Uses medicine on injured... Oh, okay. So it's kind of like an auto-potion, maybe? Maybe? Hi. No? Okay. There's a monster in the north, apparently. Okay, we're here. Ryu, Tina! When we're done getting flour at the Edmund store, let's have some fun! No... Never. Also, something new to uh, sweep it into is that stores will have rare finds. I need to buy that. Perfect. <laughs> Equip. There we yeah, There you go. Now I have really good armor. Uh, be sure to check every adversary too, because like it's weakened in one, that will populate a future store. Uh, I don't believe there's any hidden items here, so let's just go over to the item store. Welcome! Hey, I know you. Right, me, Cobalt Warrior, Jen Jen! Now Captain Jen Jen. What can I do for you, weird doggy man? Huh, what? Oh, flower as usual, just a minute. Here, I'll put it on your bill as always. Thank you. Okay, we go back now. I want to look around some more. Okay, Ryu, Captain Jin Jin? Yeah, sure. Do you have any rare finds that I can't afford? No. So those populate in game time. Um, there is... What? Oh, the... The show up there, right. Okay. Um, I was like, there's no TV here. What is she talking about? But, uh, yeah, so, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, rare items, they populate, populate in-game time. Like, it's like 30 minutes to an hour of in-game time. They have a chance of populating. Now, what you can do is wait for that time to go by, save, and then go check a store and see if it populated. If it didn't populate, you reload the save, check again, see if it populated. Um, generally speaking... You don't need to do that that often, but some places definitely have some items that are worth uh, 
getting out of their rare finds. All right, so that's a blacksmith. I think it only goes with level two, though. Um, I don't have to worry too much about right there. Yeah, the item shops here aren't that... Oh, I didn't check the item shop, did I? In terms of, like, items. I mean, it's not that great. But it's still... I mean, we're going to be able to get them at different stores, so it's not like it's a huge deal. Did I talk to you? I did. But you're not really anything. I like your hat, though. Okay, so yeah, that's just stuff we can find at any store, pretty much. Alright, so they were talking about a show, but it's not really going on right now. You can kind of see uh, where that show is going to be um, with these very unique looking people. And she's very nice as well, because she called me handsome. Alright, that is going to be it for the first episode. Thank you for watching. We're going to head back to Victus Fort next time. Have a great day. Bye. You can save at the end. I'm not sure if I mentioned that.